fine. It's fine. My makeup artist is going to kill me. It's so nice. Kelly Clarkson gets emotional on her daytime talk show after a meaningful conversation with Henry Winkler. The Barry actor appears on The Kelly Clarkson Show on April 18th, where the two talk about Henry's success as an author, which includes over 30 children's book titles. Which is such a great story because I know we've covered this before, but it was interesting because I literally was driving my daughter to school yesterday and she's dyslexic. And you have told me that you're dyslexic as well. And I find that amazing to tell my daughter that you've written like 40 books and you're dyslexic. Kelly goes on to explain that her eight-year-old daughter, River, who is dyslexic, was getting bullied at school for not being able to read like all the other kids. She was getting bullied, like at school, for not being able to read what like grade other is she? kids. She's second, but I have books for her. But they said, I know, I have, I've been reading. Oh you, yes, yes, yes. So wait, but I, but Kelly this Clarkson is the coolest has thing, though. Book. Her, her school, her school actually um, did a whole thing on dyslexia the morning before, One and out they of pointed five out children. I know, so it's it's more common than I didn't I didn't know that. But they She's in they the were tribe. pointing out. They, I know, and they were pointing out, um, you know, Captain America, Anthony Mackie is dyslexic, like Shazam, like Zachary Levi's dyslexic. You're dyslexic. They were showing all your pictures yeah. and everything that y'all done, and like just the success of that. And she, it really empowered her that y'all are so open about it. Henry sends this heartfelt message to River, looking straight at the camera and saying this: River. Yeah. River. <laughs> Here, it, River. Got it. All right. <laughs> how you learn has nothing to do with how brilliant you are. Oh. <laughs> fine. That's fine. <laughs> We're fine. It's fine. My makeup artist is going to kill me. It's so nice. Uh, you look good. Yeah, Nothing totally. Nothing is dripping. Kelly, who shares two children, seven-year-old Remington and eight-year-old River, with her ex-husband, Brandon Blackstock, has previously discussed the effect of their divorce on their kids. Last month, she told the Angie Martinez IRL podcast that she asks her kids each night if they're happy and what would make them happier. I literally ask my kids every night when we're snuggling and I put in bed, I'm like, are you happy? Mm. And like, if you're not, like, what that's could make so you happier? Sweet. No, that's it. That's Do they it. always it's, say yes? No. Like, sometimes they'll say, especially the like past two years, like a lot of it, and it kills me. But they'll, and I want them to be honest, so I don't, I don't ever say, oh God, don't tell me that, you know? Um, but a lot of times it would be like, you know, I'm just really sad. You know, I wish mommy and daddy were in the same house. I wish, mm -hmm. and they're really honest about it. And that's, and I'm raising that kind of individual. I want you to be honest with me. And I just sit there and I'm like, yeah, I get it. I'm mm -hmm. from a divorced family as well. I get it. That's, mm -hmm. That sucks, you know, but we're going to work it out. And you are so loved by both of us. And Kelly goes on to explain why she feels it's so important to communicate with her children in an open and honest way. And I go through this conversation and I think, I think communicating with them and not treating them, you know, not, not treating them like an adult because they're not, but not treating them like a child that they're, they're, you know, they're not small feelings. Those are huge feelings and those are huge emotions. Mm.